This is Lisa Shaughnessy with SavvyDigitalBusiness.com. This video is to support a blog post I did about quick and easy landing pages with lead pages. So what I'm going to go over in this video is how to create a quick email opt-in page using lead pages. To see the full blog post, go to SavvyDigitalBusiness.com slash quick and easy landing pages with lead pages. First, obviously, you'll need a Lead Pages account, and if you have one set up, you will then go to Templates at the top, and this will give you all the available templates. So here to the left, you'll see all templates, and then type Sales Pages, Opt-in, Webinar, and over here you can see how many of each there are. So as I said, we're going to do a really quick opt-in page. So I'll click opt-in. And you can either scroll through them using this arrow where you can see the different ones. Or if you scroll down, you can see all of them. So what we're going to use today is this basic squeeze page. So you can either click to use the template or you can watch the watch the tutorial if you're not really sure um, how to use it. So we're just going to click use the template and then you can say if you want to tell what industry you're in. I'm going to say no thanks. And this is what it looks like. Th you can see that it's all pre-populated so all you have to do is change any of these sections that show up outlined in blue to customize it for you. So you can already see how much easier this is. The work is done. Most of the work is done for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to X out of this. I already started one. It'll be easier than starting from scratch. But I just want to show you what it looks like when you first see it. So the one that I'm going to edit is this first one, opt-in test. We'll click edit so we can look at it. And you can see I've already started to customize this. So what you do is you start over here to the left and I'm only going to go over the basic, basic settings. You can explore this more if you have a lead pages account or once you set your own up but I just want to show you how in just a few minutes you can quickly get something set up. So if you wanted to send an email after someone opts in you would click this and then there's a lot more information in here. We have our own opt-in follow-up email so I'm gonna leave this alone and then you just go down the line. So SEO settings, if you want to set any of this up, you can. If not, you just ignore that. Tracking code, I'm not going to worry about either, but here you can add any analytics code that you want to. Style settings. So this has everything to do with what you see here. So the pre-headline text, you can change that. You notice if I click a color, it changes it right here. So this is your pre-headline text. And then again, your headline text. All of these things you can play around with. And you'll see the changes instantaneously over here. So it will really help give you some feedback on the color scheme that you're using. I'm going to hit cancel and keep what they have for us. The exit pop-up, this is if e people are going to leave the page. So if you want to display a pop-up when somebody closes the page, you can. I'm not going to do that. Um, you would hit yes and then make any changes you wanted to do. But I'm not going to. I'm going to hit no and just cancel that. So the opt-in form integration, this is where you'll need to have already established an opt-in form. And what's really nice about this is that you can integrate from your um, 
email service provider. So I use Aweber, so I'm going to use my Aweber. And you can see I also have GoToWebinar set up, but right now we're doing opt-in, so we worry about that. And then whichever form you have. So we have several, Facebook web form, main website, and then my web form. So I'm going to choose my web form because that's our main one. And then I'm going to hit OK. And just as a note, when you set up your account, when you look at your account settings, you can choose whichever email service provider you are using and it will take you through the steps to integrate that. So what this is, is the, um, the form people will see. So when they click, you can see when you click here for free instant access, this is the form that the the user will see. So you can change any of these. So the form image um, and then it selects any image that you've already uploaded. So we've uploaded one so we're using that one. But I could change it. See it changes instantaneously. So we're going to go back to the one I'd uploaded and then you would hit OK And then heading style, this is where you would put in this. So we put opt-in to get the Savvy Digital Business Guide to attracting and retaining fans and followers on social media. So you can make that say anything and get more tips or something. So as you can see, whatever you type in in the box on the left is what shows up on the right in your form. So we'll delete that because that's what we want. And then you can, you know, choose letter spacing, the size of the font, and and even up here you can really customize. You can underline things. So maybe I want to underline opt-in, and you can see it shows up here. You can really customize it. So we click OK, and oh, and if I wanted to change this it would give me the option I could make it say something else change the button color if I wanted to um, you know maybe I want to change it to our brand colors so one of our brand colors is 009 ECE and I could do that I could hit OK because I've also used here um, I've used red, which is another one of our brand colors. So now I've tied in our brand colors, which may, helps people associate it with ours. So I do that. And then, so we're still on the form. Form style, you can change any of these. Um, again, with the submit button, if you wanted to change anything, they give you several ways to change that. And then just go through any of this. You can decide which form fields you want to use name and email is what we've chose so we're going to hit OK so we did the opt-in form integration industry that is where they ask you again what industry you're in and now we're going to do our main opt-in so the image I want to do another image of ours so I will click that and if you don't have an image you've already uploaded you can upload new image and it will put it in there. So I've selected that, so I hit OK. The pre-headline text, so that's this free online strategy guide. So if I wanted to change anything, I would put it here. But I'm just going to keep it with free online strategy guide, kind of keep it, keep it easy and not too complicated. So hit OK. And then the headline text is this in here. So we've put in just a little bit of information about the simple tweaks you can make to your social networks to attract new followers and gain online credibility and influence. So once you have your wording here that you think will help people want to click for free instant access, you click OK. And now the button text. So 
the standard is click here for free instant access. That works for me and I figure that Lead Pages has tested so many of these opt-ins that if this is what they recommend, if this is what they have as the standard, then I'm going to go ahead and keep that. But of course, you know, if you want to make it say anything, you know, download now or get the free guide, then you can do that as well. I'll keep it as that. And they even do it down to the submit text link. So you can change this as well. Click here for free instant access. I'm just going to keep it the way it is, but you know, know that you can change any of that. Um, even, you know, as far as the footer icon, you can basically change every aspect of this, but we're going to keep it as it is. And I don't know if you noticed before, but when I first showed you the template, it had a wood background. And what we did is we actually changed the background here. So if you want a new image, you would click background and then um, you could choose a new background. Oh, maybe I like that. So you can change that to be whatever you want. So it'll help stand out more or maybe it's a, a theme that you use throughout your social network sites that you want people to recognize as yours. So we will change it to this and hit OK. And that's it. You hit save at the top. So once I hit save, then you publish it. And this comes up, how would you like to publish this page? And it gives you several options, which I won't go into. And then we will view this page. And this is what it looks like. So I have the free online strategy guide with my call to action. Click here for free instant access. And then this tells you, this brings up the part where they can do it. And then when they click free instant access, it says I'm already subscribed, but it will take people through the subscription process. And that is it. That is how to create simple opt-in pages with lead pages. So before we close out, let me just show you the other ones that you can do. So if you want to have a webinar, they have pre-made templates that fill in dates, times, um, ideas for copy, points to make, and it all flows in a way that they have tested for people to register for your webinar. Um, you can do thank you pages, which is what we did with our thank you for subscribing to our email list upsell, launch pages, um, you know, coming soon. So maybe you have something coming soon that you want to tell people about. You can have a nice pre-made page that's already designed and all you have to do is fill in your information and it's ready to go. Okay, well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this how-to on using lead pages. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment either on this YouTube video or on our blog post. And if you would like to subscribe to our email list, you can always do that at SavvyDigitalBusiness.com. We'd love to hear from you.